Are electric cars secretly plotting world domination through silent pedestrian annihilation? Okay, maybe not that dramatic. But there are some surprising safety concerns surrounding electric vehicles you need to know about. Let's explore that not-so-silent world of electric car safety. While EVs are all the rage for being eco-friendly and speedy, there's a side to them that's not often discussed, especially regarding safety on the road. A notable distinction between EVs and traditional combustion engine cars is their weight. Due to their battery packs, EVs tend to be much heavier. While this added weight can provide advantages like improved traction and stability, it also raises serious concerns in collisions. The kinetic energy of a moving object increases with its mass. Simply put, heavier vehicles exert greater impact forces during crashes. This reality means collisions involving heavy EVs can lead to more extensive damage and severe injuries. And let's not forget how these things can zoom. EVs can take off like a rocket, thanks to their high torque. Combine that with their weight and you've got a recipe for potential trouble on the road. Imagine an electric truck. Those can weigh a ton, literally. If you're in a smaller car and cross paths with one of these behemoths, you might not win. It's not just hypothetical either. Electric trucks are becoming more popular and they're not just heavy, they're seriously heavy. Take the 2022 GMC Hummer EV for instance. It weighs 6,500 pounds, about 35% heavier than its gas-powered counterpart. Meanwhile, the behemoth GMC Hummer EV tips the scales at a staggering 9,063 pounds, with its battery alone contributing nearly 3,000 pounds to that hefty total. To put it bluntly, getting hit by a vehicle that weighs over 4.5 tons is akin to encountering an elephant on wheels. As electric trucks gain popularity, particularly with the glooming ban on combustion engines, their presence on our roads is set to increase significantly. This surge raises legitimate concerns about safety, particularly regarding collisions. The added weight of electric trucks translates greater kinetic energy during crashes, potentially leading to more severe outcomes for those involved. Now, let's talk about the collisions that pose the highest risks. Rear-end collisions are among the most common types of car accidents on the road, and they can lead to serious injuries and vehicle damage. These accidents occur when one vehicle crashes into the back of another, often due to sudden braking, tailgating, distracted driving, or adverse road conditions. One of the primary reasons rear-end collisions are prevalent is the short reaction time available to drivers in the following vehicle. When a vehicle ahead slows down or suddenly stops, the driver behind may not have enough time to react and brake sufficiently to avoid a collision. It can result in the rear vehicle impacting the rear of the car in front. The impact in a rear-end collision can vary depending on the speed of the vehicles involved and the force of the impact. At lower speeds, rear-end collisions may cause minor damage, such as bumper scratches or dents. However, at higher speeds, the consequences can be far more severe. The force of impact can significantly damage both vehicles, including crumpled bumpers, broken taillights, and sometimes even structural damage that affects the vehicle's integrity. In terms of injuries, rear-end collisions can result in a range of injuries from occupants in both the rear and front vehicles. Whiplash is one of the most common injuries, particularly for those in the car that is struck from behind. Other injuries that can occur in rear-end collisions include back injuries, spinal cord injuries, head injuries such as concussions, and facial injuries from airbag deployment or impact with objects inside the vehicle. The severity of these injuries can vary depending on factors such as the speed of the collision, the position of the occupants within the car, and whether safety features like seatbelts and airbags were properly utilized. Side impact collisions, often called T-bone accidents, occur when the front of one vehicle crashes into the side of another vehicle. These collisions typically happen at intersections where vehicles travel perpendicular to each other or when one vehicle fails to yield the right of way. Due to the relatively minimal protection offered by a vehicle's doors and side panels compared to the front and rear, side impact collisions can result in serious injuries and fatalities. One significant difference between side impact collisions involving electric vehicles, EVs, and those with combustion engine vehicles is the vehicle's structural design and weight distribution. Moreover, the distribution of weight in EVs, which are often concentrated lower in the vehicle due to the placement of batteries, can affect how the vehicle responds to side impacts. While this lower center of gravity can enhance stability and handling under normal driving conditions, it may also mean that in a side impact collision, the impact force could be directed more toward the vehicle's occupants rather than observed by its structure. On the other hand, combustion engine vehicles vary in weight and design, but generally, their structural components may be designed differently than EVs. 
the impact on a combustion engine vehicle side panels may be distributed differently due to design variations and manufacturing materials. When you look at the numbers, it turns out that riding in an electric vehicle, EV, is safer than being in a traditional gasoline-powered car or truck. For instance, you're about 40% less likely to get injured in an EV compared to a regular car. That's a pretty significant difference in safety. And here's another eye-opener. EVs are much less likely to catch fire in an accident than traditional gas cars. Gas cars are about 50 times more likely to catch fire during a crash than EVs. Only one fire has been reported for every 210 million miles that Tesla vehicles travel. Compare that to gas cars, which see a fire about once every 19 million miles. That's a huge safety advantage for EVs. But here's the flip side. While you might be safer inside an EV, the car might take a beating in a crash. Electric car accident stats show EVs suffer about 50% more severe damage in high-speed collisions than regular vehicles. Nearly half of all EVs involved in serious crashes are totaled, which can be a big hit for owners. Interestingly, EVs are also involved in fewer crashes overall when considering their traffic share. Even though EVs made up about 7% of all vehicles on American roads between 2011 and 2018, they were only in about 3% of all accidents during that time. That means mile for mile, EVs are less likely to get into a wreck compared to traditional cars, which is reassuring. However, it's not all good news. There's some concern about the safety of pedestrians around EVs. While there aren't specific stats for EVs hitting pedestrians, data from hybrid vehicles, a similar concept, shows that collisions with pedestrians were more likely to happen at lower speeds or during certain maneuvers than regular gas cars. In areas with speed limits of 35 miles per hour or lower, the risk of a hybrid hitting a pedestrian was 39% higher. The risk was nearly 66% higher during turns or other tricky moves than in gas cars. Improvements in car safety features are essential for making crashes less likely, but how we drive matters just as much. One significant cause of accidents is distracted driving, especially when using phones. Did you know that texting while driving makes you six times more likely to crash than driving drunk? It only takes a few seconds of not paying attention for things to go wrong. So, resisting that urge to check your phone while driving isn't just about following the rules, it's about keeping yourself and others safe on the road. Another thing to think about is how heavy a car is. The weight of a vehicle affects how well it can stop. Heavier cars need bigger brakes and more room to come to a halt. For every extra 450 kilograms a car gains, the chance of a crash that could have been survived turns into a deadly one goes up by 40%. It's a big deal, especially now that we're seeing more and more heavy electric vehicles, EVs, out there. To ensure safe driving, car makers must rethink how they design cars to handle these heavier EVs. Crumple zones are crucial parts of the car that are meant to crumple up and absorb the force of a crash to protect people inside. With heavier EVs, making these zones strong enough to absorb all that energy becomes even more critical. That means using stronger materials and more imaginative designs to handle crashes better. As electric vehicles, EVs, become more common on our roads, it's crucial to prioritize developing advanced safety features to prevent potential increases in fatalities. While current safety measures like crumple zones and airbags protect people inside EVs, we must also consider the safety of other vehicles involved in crashes. One big worry is that we need more information on how car makers still focus on gasoline-powered cars and change their designs to deal with heavier EVs. As more people choose EVs, these heavy vehicles can raise the danger level for other drivers and passengers caught in accidents. In addition, the progress of automated driving systems shows promise in making roads safer. However, we must clear up misunderstandings and issues around these systems to prevent drivers from feeling too secure. Tesla's autopilot, for example, has been controversial because some drivers might think it's better than it is. That could mean more accidents and deaths. What are your thoughts on these issues? Share with us in the comments section below and remember to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.